All right, gonna do another video going through some more of what I would say are, are, are the best and my personal favorite cartoons of Islam's Baal-worshipping false prophet Muhammad, the Arabian moon idolater that he was. And if you want scriptural justification for this, uh, 1 Kings 18 verse 25 down to verse 27, Elijah's mocking the prophets of Baal. And uh, Muhammad was definitely a prophet of Baal unknowingly because Islam is just modern day Baal worship. And by the way, I've said this before, I'm not saying by showing these cartoons, I'm not that don't take this as an endorsement of the artist because I don't know much about them. I don't know their views. It's just the cartoons itself is what uh, is the message I'm trying to show. Not, not necessarily the artist who I may, may or may not endorse if I were to find out what they believe. But uh, here's the first cartoon. Uh, very, once again, historically accurate, you got Muhammad with his uh, little child bride, because the guy was a, a full-on pervert. He was a, you know, a pedophile, all kinds of stuff, into child marriage. And there's Muhammad with his little child bride, which, by the way, is mentioned in the Hadith that, you know, she was playing with dolls. So you got a 50, you know, man in his 50s with somebody who hasn't even hit puberty yet. Yeah, this is their prophet. This is their, the perfect man, they call him, the perfect model of conduct. Here is the next cartoon. You have uh, this time Muhammad obviously with his you know bomb head and saying I just don't get it you know why are they why are they depicting this of me why are they doing this well probably because it's what you are you know you know why why are they making cartoons of me well probably because you tried to behead people who would make cartoons you know what what is like Charlie Hebdo and I'm not saying I endorse Charlie Hebdo obviously they're just a bunch of wicked you know godless liberals but you know people who make cartoons of Muhammad. Uh, essentially they, they're gonna get beheaded and then Muhammad's thinking why I don't get it why are they still making cartoons about me well probably as an act of defiance again not saying I endorse these you know godless liberals like Charlie Hebdo or some of this other stuff but you know the problem is, is that you know uh, a lot of these Muslims they'll say oh Islamophobia is rising in many ways you know you'll see a correlation between that and some of the activity carried out by various Muslims don't want to say a whole lot because I want to you know get the YouTube censors after me but here's also the um, another cartoon on my uh, in my folder. I'll put it that way. This time you have uh, Muhammad with his bomb. You know, because again, the religion of peace, Islam, is Allah's gift to the world. Yeah, essentially what it was, it's basically a bomb. You know, an explosion wrapped in a uh, in a wrapping paper or sent by Allah. Religion of peace. Then you hear have him with a sword behind his back, which is actually figuratively very true as well, because he was a backstabber. He was an oath breaker. Uh, he would also. You know, he, he like essentially the Quran makes it, you know, they call it taqiyya. Basically, they are allowed to lie to defend Islam. So, yeah, you know, he was figuratively and literally a backstabbing terrorist. That's what Muhammad was, this false uh, prophet of Islam. The false religion of Islam. Here's the next cartoon. You have, once again, Muhammad with his demonic little mind, where it has the religion of peace, which includes, you know, assassinate, demolish, slaughter, bomb. Exactly. Because Muhammad was uh, essentially Islam is basically just death worship. That's what Baal worship is. And like I said, Islam is just modern day Baal worship. If you read Genesis 16 verse 11 and 12, describes Ishmael as a wild man. And the type of activity uh, that was conducted by the Baal worshiping false prophet Muhammad is just that. It proves that he was, you know, he loved death. And that's the kind of stuff going on in his mind about, you know, demolishing and slaughtering and killing. Because uh, when you consider it, I'll put it this way, when you consider it in light of Proverbs uh, chapter 8, verse 36, you know, all that hate me love death, that's what God says, that pretty much covers Muhammad uh, to the T, plain and simple. And that cartoon sums it up perfectly, the kind of murderous, devil-filled mind of the false prophet Muhammad. So these are just some more of the really good cartoons. Again, not saying I endorse the artist, I'm not saying that, you know, you know because I don't know what they believe, but the cartoon itself is the is what the message being uh i'll put it this way the message in the cartoon itself is what i'm promoting not necessarily the artist who i could disagree with on other stuff so that's the front that's the fact of the matter of this ishmaelite you know genesis 16 uh verse 11 and 12 type you know style the prophet of this false Baal worshiping religion of islam and these cartoons again you know first kings 18 verse 25 down to verse 27 Elijah's mocking the prophet's bill just doing the same thing with this false prophet muhammad this Baal worshiper who started this false, you know, Arabian moon idol, this Arabian moon idol, idol this, this Arabian moon idol worshiping religion of Islam, put it that way. I'm running on a bit of lack of sleep, so it's just, you know, that's why it may, it may sound a bit choppy, but that's the truth of the matter. So don't be deceived by Islam. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.